So I think we uh, didn't we finish ossification, right? We're just we talked about the I think we ended oh how do we turn this up? We ended up way uh, at the part where we talked about what are the factors that help in the health of our bones, right? We talked about nutrition, we talked about the hormones, the growth hormone, thyroid, or even your sex hormones. They help in the growth of the bone, okay? But there, there, I, I told you that the main, main importance of bone, the main function of bone is it stores calcium. And calcium is very important. It is very important that we maintain normal levels of calcium all the time. That's why I said, you know, we say, uh, why do you need to take your calcium to have strong bones? To me, that is really not a, a, a real statement. We take our calcium because we need it. You know, as we study the next chapter, the next system will be your muscular system. You will see how important calcium is for muscle contraction. You know that your heart is muscle, right? Okay? You know that to pee pee, you need your muscles, right? To poop, everything. Oh, I'm sorry. My dear friend is sleeping. I'm so sorry. It's going to come out of poop <laughs> But we need our muscles. And did you know that calcium is the key for that muscle to contract? Okay? And then after muscular system, we're going to talk about nervous system. Calcium is also necessary for your brain to function. So that's why the job of the boat is to make sure that the calcium is always normal where? in the blood. So this is just like our bank for calcium. So we take our calcium, yes, maybe it makes our, our bones, it, I, I'm sorry, not maybe, it does make our bones strong. It, it's important for the structural framework, but really we take our calcium because we want to make sure that the calcium in the blood is always normal. Otherwise, Muscle will suffer. Brain will suffer. Okay? And so, thankfully, you see how much God loves you, right? It's beyond your control. It's an automatic thing. It's just like computers. I know that there's a thing, the program, like if you want to automatically clean your computer every Wednesday, you just hit OK. And then it just automatically does it every Wednesday, whatever you want. That's the same thing with the body. Did you know that as long as you're healthy, as long as you're, 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 you're paying attention, you have all the, the ingredients that you have in your body, it will just automatically make sure, as far as calcium is concerned, it will automatically make sure that the calcium where in the blood is always normal. Here, look at, look at, look at. Picture yourself. Your heart is always pumping the blood, right? And so the blood that's being pumped but by my heart should always have normal calcium levels. And if it's not normal, your body automatically <laughs> corrects it. What if you can't drink milk? What if you, you're not taking your calcium supplements? Well, you're going to suffer. Your muscle will suffer. So... That's why you have your bones. You see how much calcium you have from head to toe? I hope you appreciate how important the calcium is. From head to toe, you got calcium back here. A good 401k of your calcium. You understand? Okay. So do you remember the two body systems for homeostasis, your endocrine and your nervous system? You remember that? Yes. Okay. So here for calcium homeostasis, hormones are the ones that uh, maintain calcium homeostasis. So in the test, I'm very specific. So I'll ask what are the hormones, what hormones help in the health of bone. You can write growth hormone, what, you can write thyroid hormone. But if I ask what are the hormones that's important for calcium homeostasis, it's these two hormones, parathyroid hormone and your calcitonin. You understand? Okay? So picture, picture in your head again. Here's my heart. It's pumping, you know that when your, when your heart pumps, it's supposed to deliver that blood to 
the rest of the body. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. So picture the blood that's going to the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid gland is right here. You know your thyroid gland over here? Mm -hmm. Thyroid, everybody knows thyroid? Thyroid gland right here. So embedded posterior to your thyroid is the para. That's why it's called para, parathyroid right there. So when the heart pops and the blood that goes to the parathyroid gland, can you picture? If the blood there is low in calcium, this gland, the parathyroid gland, then secretes parathyroid hormone. Where is that parathyroid hormone going to go? To my bones, you see? So it's like this parathyroid hormone wants to tell your bone, can you please spare some of your calcium? You understand? That's how they talk. You see, your body, all your cells, they talk to one another. It's like your little minions. You understand? So look at look at this picture over here. You see? Look, calcium level is low. So my heart pumps. Low calcium blood goes to the parathyroid. The parathyroid senses that and it responds by what? Secreting parathyroid hormone. Where is that going to go? To my bone. So what do you think? The cell that eats bone, osteoclast. Remember? So because you always have, thankfully, we have those osteoclasts. So they will start eating the bone, osteolysis, remember? When this osteoclast breaks the bone, what's released? Calcium. You correct the problem. You understand this slide, everybody? Do you understand? So did you have to do anything? No. You can drink your coffee all day, no problem, right? You're still, you still pee all the calcium in the, in the, in the bathroom. In the meantime, you're still okay. How did that happen? Here, this one is doing it for you. See, at the expense of your bones, you cannot afford to have abnormal calcium levels. It's an automatic thing. It doesn't wait. It doesn't wait for you to take your calcium supplements. It cannot. Your heart will suffer. Muscle will suffer. It's just amazing how our body corrects itself it's amazing it's called homeostasis see that's why that word is always in chapter one of, of any a and book you understand now we look at our another instance when the calcium level is high maybe i just took my calcium vitamin calcium supplement okay or i ate uh, uh, uh what's What's some food items that's high in calcium? Yogurt. Yogurt. Okay, I just had yogurt. So now it's so high calcium in my blood. So that high calcium is going to be pumped by my heart. Go to the, this time, the thyroid gland. Same place right here. When the thyroid gland receives blood that's very high in calcium, rich in calcium, the thyroid gland will respond by releasing the hormone calcitonin. Where is it going to go? To your bone, you see. Will the calcitonin tell the osteoclast to work? No, yeah. because osteoclasts, what do they do? They eat to release calcium. It's already high here. So look at, it will not let this work, stop this. In the meantime, the osteoclasts are still busy. So they're going to grab the calcium to store it in your bone. So result, you have your calcium bank right here. That's why you have strong bones, you see. Is it, yes. Does it, the calcitonin come from PTH or the, or the PT? Or no, what the, did I say? Calcitonin is from? The thyroid. Very good, very good. And PTH is from? The parathyroid. Very good. That's a good question. Don't forget, calcitonin is from thyroid and parathyroid hormone is from parathyroid gland, okay? Do you understand? Amazing, isn't it? Did you have to do anything? No, you didn't have to do anything. You can drink uh, over the weekend. Maybe you're just celebrating. You're just, you can drink all beers that you want. Drink, 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 drink. Pee, 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 all that calcium. Did you replenish the calcium? No. And yet, you're still beating your heart. And yet, you're still able to think properly. What happened? This one right here. You understand? It's beyond our control, it's hormones. You see, that's why I'm very specific. 
Does it make sense if I ask you the hormones for calcium homeostasis? That's completely different. Oh, by the way, don't forget, this parathyroid and the thyroid, the calcitonin, the parathyroid hormone and calcitonin have nothing to do with the health of your bones. Their job is to maintain calcium levels in your blood. It just so happens that the bone is your bank for calcium. Make sense, everybody? They got nothing to do with the health of your bones. Okay? So it's a moment by moment thing. By the way, don't forget, when you take your calcium supplements, just because now you, you're understanding the importance of calcium, it's a mentality, right? They go to the store and buy the super pill, the, like the 1,500 milligrams, the super mega calcium, and you take it. Don't do that. You can also suffer from calcium toxicity. You know that, right? So a calcium toxicity means you can start depositing calcium in areas besides bone, uh, like your heart. Or, or maybe your, your uterus, you can have calcified organs besides your bone. So always pay attention to the normal uh, prescribed dose for, in, in general, it's about 1,500 milligrams for you growing people. Yes. Okay. The body just produces more calcium to take care of the extra calcium. Is it phosphates? To produce more calcium? Yeah. Why? Can, why can't it produce more? It will produce more if you have a lot of calcium in your blood. Oh, you mean if there's too much calcium? Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. take one of those super supplements, then how come your body can't... He uh, wants to buy the super supplement. No, 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 no. I was saying hypothetically, of course. Yeah. Well, for one thing, if you take the super supplements, it's a waste of money, right? Because the body, the GI tract can only absorb 500 milligrams each time. So you're just wasting your money. Number two, uh, there is such a thing as a, what do you call like a maximum. So when they're all busy, like the bathroom, right? If you go to the bathroom, if all the cubicles are filled, what do you do? You mm -hmm. bang in there and you go, can I share with you? You don't do that, right? You wait for your turn. Don't you wait for your turn? That's the same thing here. There's a maximum. So the, the other calcium, they have to wait for their turn. And that's the danger. Does it make sense? Yeah, um, There's I some maximum. Because, like, you know how they say, well, I don't know if it's correct, but uh, it's okay if you take too much vitamin C. Because it's water soluble, you just uh, beat it out. Uh, okay. You know what? I don't like those things. Oh, you can take too much of that. It's water soluble and it's going to come out in your pee pee. But what do you do? Do you make sure you drink enough water? You don't. <laughs> so if you have too much of that, what's going to happen? If you make, don't make sure that you dr don't drink enough water, you're going to cause a backlog or traffic jam in your kidneys, leading to stones still. Just pay attention to the normal amount. Okay? Yes. I totally forgot my question. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So do you have any questions on this calcium homeostasis? Another very important thing about your bone, bone, I said it's a living tissue, right? It's made up of cells, the cells are alive, and thankfully that happens. Uh, you know that there are times that we will fracture our bone, it heals, okay? And so that's why for your test, especially the lab exam, you will be required to know the common fractures. You need to know common fractures, especially if you work in the air, it says, a patient has open fracture, what does that mean? Open, closed, what does that mean? Okay. First of all, the difference between an open fracture and a closed fracture. Open, you see the bone. It's exposed. Closed, there's a fracture but intact skin. Okay? Then, favorite. My favorites are green stick fracture. You know that this only happens in children. Green, it's still green. So look at, it's See, one side is broken, but the other side is only bent. Like the green twigs, it's very hard to break them because it's still a young twig. There's still some greenness in it, right? You have to wait for it to be dry so you can break it very easily. You understand green stick fracture? Mm -hmm. Okay. Another favorite of mine, comminuted fracture. 
you know, rhymes or sounds like a community. If you live in a community, there are several houses. And the common would be fractured. The bone is fractured into many different, many small pieces. Comminuted, a community of small pieces. That's how I try to remember. Another favorite, impacted fractured. It's forced. Some students will write compacted fracture. That's okay. It's like one end is forcefully driven to the other end. So impacted fracture. Maybe a fall and you're trying to stop that fall. This one push down. Okay. Pots is always involving your fibula. And then your colis fracture, always the radius. So pots is always down here. Colis fracture up here. Okay. So know your fractures. Is that five thirty eight? Uh, yes. Okay. You have any questions? This is the natural. This is what happens as we get old. Yes, we do have cells, but the cells, they're, what do you call this? They're, they don't, they're not as healthy as they used to. So you want to make sure the good news about bone, because it's alive, it, it's never too late to change our lifestyle. It's never too late to start exercising, our weight-bearing exercise. You have cells there. You, they will keep on depositing the bone. Uh, but look at this one. This is really what happens when we have osteoporosis. You know that uh, here, very nice, this can withstand gravity better than this one. You understand that, right? So that's why look at what happens in the vertebrae of old people or people with osteoporosis. What do you think? This one right here, if it thins out, what's in here? What's contained? Yes, very good. Nervous tissue, right? And then what comes out here? Nerves. Nerves, right? So can you imagine if this one thins out don't you think that you will have problems, nerve problems? It will compress. You will have pain. So, yeah. So that's why we want to take care of our bones, okay? You have any questions on this chapter? We go to the next chapter. Chapter. That's it.